In a Twitter video released by Militarland on July 9, 2023, it appears that Sweden's support for Ukraine has taken a new turn. The video reveals the deployment of the Swedish CV-9040 infantry fighting vehicle in the framework of the Ukrainian counteroffensive against Russian forces, a development that marks an escalation in Sweden's involvement in the conflict of Ukraine. As part of its military aid efforts, Sweden has provided Ukraine with several CV-9040 vehicles equipped with a 40mm autocannon, strengthening Ukraine's capabilities against the Russian invasion. The CV-9040 demonstrates several differences compared to the BMP-1 and BMP-2 in service with the Ukrainian forces. Its 40mm Boffers autocannon offers increased firepower when compared to the 73mm smoothbore gun of the BMP-1 and the 30mm automatic cannon of the BMP-2. The CV-9040 features composite armor that provides enhanced protection, while the BMP-1 and BMP-2 have aluminum armor with more limited capabilities. In terms of mobility, the CV-9040 showcases good maneuverability across various terrains, while the BMP-1 and BMP-2 exhibit reasonable mobility and the ability to operate in amphibious environments. The Combat Vehicle 90, CV-90, also known as Stridsfaden 90, STRF-90, is a series of Swedish tracked armored combat vehicles. It was designed by Sweden's Defense Material Administration, FMV, Haglunds, and Boffers during the late 1980s and early 1990s, and was introduced into service in Sweden during the mid-1990s. Over time, the design of the CV-90 platform has evolved from the MK-0 to the current MK-4, incorporating technological advancements and adapting to changing battlefield requirements. The Swedish version of the main infantry fighting vehicle, IFV, is equipped with a Boffers turret armed with a 40mm autocannon. Export variants feature Haglund's E-Series turrets, armed with either a 30mm MK-44 or a 35mm Bushmaster autocannon. The CV-90 was specifically developed for the Nordic subarctic climate and offers excellent mobility in snowy and wet environments. It can accommodate and support eight fully equipped soldiers, although later versions reduce the capacity to six. Other variations include forward artillery observation, command and control, anti-aircraft, armored recovery vehicles, electronic warfare versions, and more. Currently, there are approximately 1,400 CV-90 vehicles in service across 17 variants, used by 10 different countries, seven of which are NATO members. The CV-9040, a notable variant within the CV-90 family, weighs 37 tons and provides superior armor protection compared to the American M2A2 Bradley. It features a 3P ammunition programmer, climate control, and an anti-spall liner. The STRF-9040, CV-9040, is an upgraded version intended for crew training and international operations. It includes additional all-around armor, laser filtering in all periscopes, and tropical-grade air conditioning. However, due to the added modification size and weight, it can only carry six soldiers.